In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your Google PageSpeed page speed insights score. Now, Google page speed insights is kind of like of a, a metric inside Google that kind of kind of um, rates your um, website for speed. So obviously, the higher your speed is, the more likely that your uh, website is going to be indexed in Google and ranked in Google. So what we're going to be doing here in this video is I'm going to show you how to uh, install a totally free plugin for your website that will help your PageSpeed Insight score tremendously. Now all you need to do here is um, go to um, PageSpeed Insights and um, it's kind of fun to uh, check your page speed insight score before we do the optimization and then we'll check it after so um, You can follow along with me you can do exactly what I'm doing uh, I'm going to go kind of slow throughout the process that way You can uh, follow along with me feel free to pause the video at any time rewind the video at any time uh, If I happen to go too fast, but I'm going to try to go a little slow for you So um, I'm going to put in my uh, website here which is tennisdaily.xyz and then we'll hit analyze and the tool is going to go ahead and analyze for mobile uh, the reason why I'm in, the reason why I analyze for mobile is because most people are going to your site on mobile nowadays and uh, and that that number is going to, just going to continue to rise so what it's doing is it's going to uh, discover what your real users are experiencing it's diagnosing performance issues and this is might take a couple minutes to do so i'm going to go ahead and pause the video while it's doing its thing and i'll be right back when it's finished all right so this is my google page speed insight score it's absolutely terrible. It's 22. It's horrible. That's horrible. So we're going to go ahead and optimize this. Now, um, your what you will see um, could be could be different from my optimization because of your web host. Um, if I have a faster web host than you, mine could be mine could be more, or yours could be more, depending on the web hosting that you have. I have Hostinger. I have a dedicated Hostinger uh, server, so uh, mine uh, will hopefully be uh, fast once this is finished. Um, if you have shared web hosting, then yours may not be as fast as mine. I'll drop a link down below to the Hostinger um, dedicated IP that I have and uh, to that plan that way you can see now black friday is right right around the corner so you might be able to score some deals on that as well so let's go over i'm going to keep this up so uh, we can come back to it and we're going to go over to my website here uh, log into your uh, wordpress dashboard and from our wordpress dashboard we're going to go ahead and install a plugin so we're going to go to plugins hover over plugins over on the left hand side of the screen and click add new and then we're going to search for a pl plugin called Breeze, B-R-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. And it's going to uh, pull up this plugin right here. It should be the very first one, Breeze WordPress Cache Plugin by Cloudways. Go ahead and install that by clicking on the Install button. And then we'll click on the Activate button when that pops up. So that has been activated. And then always, what I always do is click on the enable auto updates over here on the right hand side to make sure that everything is auto updated. Uh, that way you get all of the security, the, the latest security features as well. So now we have Breeze installed. We can either click on settings right here or you can go hover over settings in Breeze because this is where you're going to find it if you're ever going to need to uh, make any changes to it later on. So settings hover over settings and click on breeze and here are our options so like i said i'm going to try to go slow because there are some optimizations that we need to do within this plugin so um, we're going to go here and we're going to start here as at basic options and we want to scroll down here and we want to we want to uh, turn on lazy load images and iframe lazy load 
and we want to enable native browser lazy load and we want to enable cross origin safe links and I believe yep that's all we need to do with that now when we do these just make sure you hit save changes at the bottom before we go over to another uh, tab because it will not save so make sure you hit save scroll down and hit save changes okay the changes have been saved now we're going to go over to file optimization and um, we need to scroll down here and we need to do HTML minify and we need to do we need to enable CSS minify and we need to do font remain visible during load we need to enable include inline CSS we need to en enable in combine CSS scroll down a little bit and we're going to enable JS minify which is JavaScript we're going to enable combine JavaScript and we're going to do delay JavaScript inline scripts. Keep everything here the same. Don't change anything in this box. And hit save changes at the bottom. Okay, now that our changes are saved here, scroll back up you go to preload tab at the left hand side if then we want to enable this option that says preload links enable that scroll down save then under heartbeat API this tab here at the side click on that we want to enable control heartbeat and we want to set our heartbeat front end to every five minutes. And we want to do that here as well. Heartbeat post editor to every five minutes. And the heartbeat back end to every five minutes. And hit save changes. Okay, that's it. That's all that we need to change under Breeze. So now that all of that has been changed, let's go ahead back to our PageSpeed Insights and let's go ahead and run this thing again. So click Analyze at the top. Now it's gonna go through its thing, diagnosing performance issues. And once again, I'm gonna pause the video and once it's finished, I will be back. All right, so now it's finished and as we can see, our performance has now jumped from a 22 to a 91, which is insane. It is, um, that is a really, really good performance right there. Like I said, yours may vary. It's based on your web host, how fast your web host is. Um, so I am really, really impressed by the way how fat, how much it went up from a 22 to a 91. And I hope you are getting the same scores that I'm getting as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that um, you click the like button below if you did enjoy it. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I do all kind of WordPress videos on this channel, a lot of how to's on web hosting and everything like that. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna have more coming up in the future. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.